Hi, welcome to Learning Lab. Today, we'll be talking about cultures and languages other than English in children's literature. Welcome to our very special guests, Jasmeet Virk and Leanne Yano. Jasmeet, why is it important to introduce children to books that are cultural in nature? The answer is twofold, really. Books that represent a child's own culture are very honoring. It gives the child a sense of pride to see their own culture in a book. Also, it helps them to take a deeper interest in reading. That's true. I sent a book home once with the grade two boy, and he said, hey, that looks just like my family. He was so excited to go home and share it with his grandma. Exactly. And in addition to that, age-appropriate books are a very powerful tool to teach children or introduce children to other cultures that are not their own. Um, this builds acceptance and understanding about cultures that are in the community. As Canada grows, we are introduced to traditions, foods, cultures from all over the world. Uh, it is very important to have these resources in our libraries and schools so our children are exposed to these cultural traditions. Uh, in this way, we build a very inclusive society. Leanne, should parents whose first language is not English be reading to their children in their native language? Definitely. Research shows that literacy skills and interest in books is developed in children by reading to and being exposed to literature in any language. And where can parents and teachers get books with bilingual text? There are many books available through your public library, your school library, as well as through the school ELL teacher and the learning assistance teacher. Another way of getting them are through a website called saneshop.com, and these books are written in both the native language and English. That was very interesting, Jasmeet and Leanne. Thanks for sharing that information and honoring cultures of all families in the Okanagan. This has been Learning Lab with Vicki Denowden. Thanks for tuning in.